Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Adrian, and today we made this delicious Jamaican breakfast for you. What we have here, fried dumpling, cabbage, saltfish, and bok choy. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and let's get into the video. Jamaican singing, sharing, cooking tutorials. Welcome, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Welcome to the Sauce Doctor, we are take over tonight. Sauce Doctor, Sauce Doctor, welcome back to Adrian, cooking and food review. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're making a classic Jamaican breakfast. Now this is not like your regular egg and sausage and all of those stuff. This is something that you'll find at resorts on the Jamaican side of the breakfast buffet. And you'll also find this up on Sunday or Saturday daytime on the weekend. Your mother decided to go all out to make it something like this, all right? So as you can see, we have our fresh vegetables. We have tomato, habanero, garlic, green pepper, a little piece of orange pepper. We have our salted codfish right here. So we're gonna be making saltfish and cabbage with some pop chow as we call it in Jamaica. But of course it's called bak choy. And we'll make some fried dumpling. Now we have some all-purpose flour, baking powder, and butter. We're gonna add in a little bit of salt. Now, not everybody made their fried dumpling the same way, but this is how I made my fried dumpling. So come in the kitchen with me as we cook up this, all right? So I'll see you in just a moment. All right, guys, so now we're gonna be dealing with our saltfish. Now, I know a lot of people boil the saltfish, boil the saltfish, boil the saltfish. I don't think it's necessary, all right? So what I'm gonna do, I have my saltfish right here. We're gonna go in with some fresh cold water, right? And you just wanna wash off the excess salt. Off of it, all right? When you wash off the excess salt, you drain it. And then, you're gonna add some fresh water to it now. And you're gonna put it on the stove and let it bubble up for just a few minutes. And then we're gonna flake the saltfish and let it sit in some cold water until we're ready for it, all right? So I'll see you over at the stove. All right, so we have our saltfish in the pot right now. We're gonna let this boil up. Once it boils up, we're gonna drain off the hot water and put some cold water on it and flake it and make it sit until we're ready for cook up our saltfish and cabbage and pop chow, you understand? All right, so I'll see you in just a moment. All right, guys, so you just wanna chop up your vegetables. Right here, we have tomatoes, onion, habanero, green pepper, orange pepper, garlic, and we're gonna get this ready for our saltfish and cabbage, all right? All right, so now we're gonna prepare our flour to make our dumpling. In the bowl right here, we have our flour, salt, baking powder, and butter. And we're gonna just fold that in to create like these granules. Um, in there, we have the measurement listed down below. So check the description box. All right, so now this is what you want your flour mixture to look like, nice granules. So we're gonna go ahead and create a well in the middle, and then we're gonna go ahead and stream in our water and keep mixing, mixing, mixing until the dough comes together. So I'll show you in just a few, so stick around. All right, so now you see our dough is coming together nicely. We're still streaming our water. We're still kneading, 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 kneading away. This is a very tedious process, so you gotta be very patient. There's no real measurement as to liquid to the dry ingredients. You just gotta take a little time and stream it in and just keep kneading until it comes together. But you wanna have this nice, pillowy, soft dough with that butter laced through it. 
and then once you start frying it's gonna be nice and fluffy crispy on the outside fluffy on the inside so guys just stay tuned watch the speed up process of this and you're gonna be entertained All right, so our dough has come together and we just keep kneading on the counter, getting all nice and smooth. And then we're gonna go ahead and separate those. I was just showing you how clean my fingernails are, well cut. I mean, I bite my fingers, but you know, whatever. So stick around because you're gonna see how we're gonna make this dough. We separate in about 14 equal parts. So stick around because you wanna see how we make our neat dumplings, all right? Pillowy, soft that dough is. So what you want to do, you want to go in the middle of your hands and roll. Then what you're going to do, you're going to flatten like that. Put in the middle of your hand and fold in, fold in. And these are just going to increase in size because of the baking powder that's in there. The butter is just going to see you have it like that. You go like that with the back of your hand. All right. So we're gonna finish make the rest off camera, or we should do another one. Let's do another one. In, 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 in. <laughs> and then like that is the back of your hand. All right. So we're gonna finish the rest, and we'll be right back. All right. So there's our dumplings. Look for them. Look there, look there, look there, look there, look there. Your boy got skills, all right? So we're gonna go over to the stove and we're gonna fry this up. So I'll see you over at the stove. All right, so now we're gonna put in our dumplings, all right? Medium, low heat. Well, it's more like medium. All right, so we put in our dumplings. You don't want to overcrowd your pot. So it's on medium heat. We're going to fry them for about seven minutes. Now you see they start browning up already. So you want to keep them on low because you don't want to burn your dumplings and they're not cooked on the inside. All right? So I'll see you in just a few. All right, so we flip our dumplings. You see the color on them? Oh my goodness. One of the steam through, so we're cooking them on medium low. But look there. Fry dumpling. Have one. All right, so since we don't have a whole bunch of saltfish, we have this amount, and we don't want to get lost in our cabbage, and pak choy, bak choy, whatever them call it. Um, we're gonna cook up the saltfish by itself. So we have a little bit of oil in the pan, our peppers, onions, garlic, all of them. We're just gonna saute this, and then we're gonna start another pan, we're gonna start your back toy and our cabbage, and then once that's all wilted, then we're gonna just fold this in. This is not the traditional way how we do it, but all right. So yeah, this is not the traditional way, but I'm trying it out today. So as you can see, this is all nice and sauteed. We're gonna take this off, put it to the back. And then we're gonna get started on our vegetables. All right. So I'll see you in just a few. All right. So for our vegetable. We want to make sure so we wash it so we have it in a colander i think that's what they call it All right and we're just gonna stream through wash our cut up vegetables and we're gonna get started so i'll see you over at the stove make sure you wash your vegetables okay so our dumpling them coming together nice golden brown color what you want to achieve from your fried dumpling is a nice exterior and a pillow with soft interior, okay? So these are looking good. We're gonna give them another minute or two, and then they're gonna be ready to come out of the pot. 
And then we're gonna put it on the back. All right, so it's now time to do our vegetables. So we're gonna go in with our veggies. That we're sauteing. Look how colorful that is. So we're gonna saute these for a few minutes. And then we're gonna come back and add in our vegetables, all right? So I'll see you in the right. So now we're gonna go in with our vegetables. Now you know our vegetables have a little bit of the liquid from when we washed it. I'm gonna go ahead and fold it all in. We're gonna add just a little bit of butter and cover it and let it start wilting. So I'll see you in just a few. So we got our one tablespoon of butter in. I'm just gonna fold that all in. And we're gonna put a lid on this and let it go for about five to seven minutes. And then we're gonna come and fold in our salt fish and stuff and then see if it need any more seasoning, all right? All right, so the cabbage and the bok choy is all wilted. Now we're gonna go in with our salt fish and vegetables. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna fold this all in. Mm. Look at that, this is healthy, it's delicious. Real Jamaican, yard style, heavy breakfast. This is a colorful. Mm. We're definitely gonna finish it off with some black pepper and probably a little bit of badia complete season because a lot, a lot of cabbage and not a lot of cod and we did soak it up, okay? So you're gonna wanna season the taste and our fried dumplings are going, so I'll see you in just a few. Right, look at our fried dumpling. This is perfection right here. Mm, mm, mm. There won't be a mukbang for this. It'll only be a recipe because your boy ain't feeling 100 today, so we gotta cook something for you. All right, so we're gonna go in with some black pepper. Now you know me, if I cook salt fish or anything, I put a lot of black pepper in there. It's a must. All right, then we're gonna go in with a little bit of badia complete seasoning. Now you know me love my badia, you know. Badia have a lot of fresh dried herbs and vegetables. That's some onion powder. And last but not least, some garlic. Powder. All right, you just want to take your time and fold this in. Let this go for another two minutes so all the flavors can mellow. And then we're gonna plate this up for you, so stay tuned. All right, guys, so thank you so much for watching. Here's our finished product. Just look at how delicious that looks. Our fried dumplings. Ooh. So I wanna say thank you so much for watching. If you like the content and you've been here before and you still haven't hit that subscribe button, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss a brand new upload. And as always say, share with your friends, share with your family, share with your neighbors. Don't be selfish because they wanna be a part of this fun and personality. Please don't click out the video just yet because you want to be serenaded by the one and only Silas But thank, thank you, thank you for today. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Thank you.